In this video, we will solve a question on Leonte utility function. The question is, consider the utility function of a consumer, that is utility derived from consuming goods x and y, two goods we have x and y, is equal to the minimum of 2x, 4y. Price of good x is $2 and price of good y is $1. Income of the consumer is $100. We have to find out the utility maximizing consumption bundle options are being given, options are being given here. We need to find out the correct option. Okay. So what we have been given, the utility function there is u is equal to minimum of 2x comma 4y. This is a min function. We call this the fixed proportion utility function or perfect complementary utility function. Price of good x is $2, price of good one is sorry, price of good y is $1, and income of the consumer is $100. We need to find out the optimal consumption bundle that will maximize the utility of the consumer. Okay. So what is our endeavor? We want to maximize this utility function subject to the budget constraint what will be the budget constraint here you can see so budget constraint is simply the price of good x times x plus price of good y times the units of good y should be equal to the income price of good x is 2 times x plus price of y is 1 so we can write only y should be equal to 100 okay we have this kind of utility function now what happens here we cannot use a language or tangency condition here because of the fact and I will explain it here so let us say we have x on the horizontal axis y on the vertical axis let us draw the budget line okay so let me draw this budget line like this okay this is our budget line if we uh, closely see this uh, utility function what happens optimal budget or optimal optimal uh, what we can say optimal uh, solution requires that what we do we equate the terms that are in the parentheses with each other that is optimality requires we equate 2x with 4y 2x with 4y that means optimal mix bundle will be at a point where where we equate this term with this term okay that gives us x is equal to 2y okay that means this kind of utility function is like a uh, right angled utility uh, sorry the indifference curve will be like this so this is the ic here here you can see it has a kink so it is not differentiable at a, at a point of kink so we cannot use language or tangency condition okay that means optimal uh, consumption bundle will be that is the condition for optimality will require that we equate the terms that are in the uh, parenthesis with each other that means x is equal to 2y then what we do we plug the value of x is equal to 2y into the budget constraint so here we plug the value of x and i will explain what exactly is meant by this with an example using this so we have 2 times the value of x is 2y plus y is equal to 100 or 4y plus y is equal to 100 or 5y is equal to 100 dividing both sides by we get y is equal to 20 if y is equal to 20 that means we are consuming uh, y is equal to 20 units of y and x will be equal to 2 times y that means x is equal to 2 times the value of y is 20 that means we consume 40 units of good x like this so it will maximize the utility of the consumer okay so why do we obtain at this point what exactly does this point uh, refer here okay so this uh, actually, and let's uh, find out the corresponding utility when we consume 20 units of good y and 40 units of good x. So utility will be equal to, so we have minimum of, minimum of 2x, that means 2 into the units of x is 20, 40, so we have 2 into 40, and we have 4y, that means 4 into 20. So minimum of uh, 80, comma 80 which is equal to 80 that means utility derived uh, so u is equal to 80 here so utility derived when we consume 40 units of good x and 20 units of good y is equal to 80 utilities okay it happens at this point okay why don't we consume at this point that means if we increase the units of good x uh, uh, to 50 okay let us say we 50 and we use 20 units of good y what will be the utility let us see 
सो यूटिलिटी विल बी इक्वल टू टू टाइम्स टू टाइम्स एक्स दैट मीनस टू टाइम्स द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स विच आई एज्यूम फिफ्टी काम ऑफ फोर टाइम्स वाई विच इज ट्वेंटी अगेन यू कैन सी यू विल बी इक्वल टू मिनिमम ऑफ हंड्रेड काम एटी सो मिनिमम ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड एटी इज एटी ओके सो आवर यूटिलिटी डज नॉट इनक्रीज और चेंज वेन वी यूनिलेटरली चेंज द कंजप्शन ऑफ वन यूनिट विदाउट चेंजिंग द कंजप्शन ऑफ एनदर गुड इन द सेम प्रपोर्शन ओके इफ आई एम कंज्यूमिंग फिफ्टी यूनिट्स ऑफ गुड एक्स एंड कंज्यूमिंग ओनली ट्वेंटी यूनिट्स ऑफ गुड वाई आई एम स्टिल गेटिंग द एटी यूटिल ऑफ यूटिलिटी सो आवर ओपनिमल पॉइंट विल ओनली ओकर एट दिस पॉइंट वेर वी हैव द थिंग लेट स्टेक इट ऑन द वर्टिकल साइड ओके सो अगेन लेट मी से इफ आई एम इनक्रीज इनक्रीजिंग द यूनिट्स ऑफ गुड वाई टू लेट से थर्टी ओके विदाउट चेंजिंग द यूनिट्स ऑफ गुड एक्स वट विल हैपन लेट से इट इज ए थर्टी अगेन यू कैन सी सो यू विल बी इक्वल टू मिनिमम ऑफ मिनिमम ऑफ टू एक्स सो टू वी डोंट चेंज द यूनिट्स ऑफ गुड एक्स विच इज फोर्टी कामा फोर टाइम्स थर्टी द न्यू वैल्यू ऑफ वाई सो अगेन यू कैन सी मिनिमम ऑफ एटी कामा वन ट्वेंटी सो वी गेट इट अगेन कम्स आउट टू बी एटी ओके सो इफ आई इनक्रीज द यूनिट्स ऑफ गुड वाई विदाउट चेंजिंग विदाउट इनक्रीजिंग द यूनिट्स ऑफ गुड एक्स इन द सेम प्रपोर्शन आवर यूटिलिटी विल नॉट इनक्रीज एट ऑल सो आवर ऑप्टिमल कंजप्शन विल लाई एट एट अ पॉइंट ऑफ किंग ओके आई होप आई मेक माई सेल्फ क्लियर इन दिस वीडियो सो यू कैन थिंक इट लाइक दिस इफ आई वॉन्ट टू गिव एप गिव एन एग्जाम्पल ओके लेट मी गिव एन एग्जाम्पल ऑल्सो हेयर टू मेक सेंस लेट एस ए वी हैव लेट एस ए यूटिलिटी इज इक्वल टू मिनिमम ऑफ एक्स काम ऑफ वाई ओके सो वी हैव दिस यूटिलिटी फंक्शन इफ आई ड्रॉ इट लाइक दिस एंड लेट मी ड्रॉ द बजट लाइन ऑल्सो हेयर ओके सो आई नो आई नो एंड यू ऑल्सो नो हेयर दैट ओप्टिमल मिक्स रिक्वेयर दैट वी इक्वेट the terms that are in parenthesis that means x should be equal to y okay at this point what exactly is happening so this is our indifference curve we utility uh you know u not is equal to some constant let us say the the utility we derive from consuming let us say here one unit of let us say our uh, optimal point is this that we can do one unit of good x one unit of one unit of good y you can think it like this uh in terms of shoes let us say this denotes the left shoe this denotes the right shoe okay so our utility derived from uh, you know having uh one left shoe and one right shoe let us say the utility derived is equal to 10 if i increase if i have extra left shoe that is if i have the ut utility that i will get from uh, rather i have to write it like this a uh, utility deriving from the minimum here minimum let us say i increase the units of uh, left shoes by 2 that means 2l and i don't increase the units of you know right shoe what will i get why will what will i do with the extra left shoe it will have no i uh, meaning uh, to my utility so my utility will remain same as 10 so it will only impact if i increase that is if i have the utility function minimum of 2l comma 2r when i increase both the units of uh, left and right shoes in same proportion so here you can see let us say my uh, utility increases by 20 when i have uh, you know two units of both left shoes and right shoe so my utility will increase let us say to 20 here okay so uh, the thing i want to tell it here is that we don't get extra utility if we don't increase the units of uh, goods in the fixed proportion in case of the leontief utility function okay 
so if we increase the units of uh, one good in case of uh, Leontief utility function arbitrarily our utility will not increase so we have to increase the or rather change the units of good x and y in this case in the fixed proportion to increase our utility okay so i hope i made myself clear in this video thank you